Hello. Hi, everyone. Well, I barely made it to the virtual pub this evening. Um, Did you get caught in traffic? Um, no, I got my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine yesterday, as you know. And um, man, it has wiped me out, as you also know. And so um, I, um, I'm feeling a little under the weather today, um, but that's okay. I, I am really excited that I now have both vaccines and you have yours as well. So, and we hope that you all out there have yours or you're getting them soon. Um, and the reason I mention this is because I am feeling a little less high energy than I usually am. Uh, which is probably good, I'd say, perhaps. Um, but we're going to have a great session anyways. We have a ton of music, more than wow. we are supposed to have, um, as per our self-selected rules of the virtual session. So um, we have, uh, what is it, 11 sets of music, 12 sets, something like that. Something yeah. like that. Um, this session might be a little bit longer than our one and a half hours we've been doing, but that's okay because, as you all hopefully know by now, this is the 74th session and uh, next week is the 75th and after that we are going to pause for the summer so we can all go out into the real world and um, play in real sessions play in real sessions which chris and i just did actually yesterday yeah i was funny i got the vaccine in the morning i was totally fine for exactly 13 hours yep. we went to a session it was great got home i was like i'm not feeling so great and then all of a sudden like 100 degree fever, fever hits 100 degree fever since then i still have a fever right now it's it's like it's a weird man it's a weird vaccine anyways so we'll do, we'll put um, some sets of music back to back tonight to try to keep it not too not too long. Um, what else should I say up front here? Oh, uh, so yes, there's two more sessions counting tonight. Please help us go strong financially into the end or, or the end for now of the virtual session because um, we have packed these last two sessions with musicians. And as you know, uh, I feel like a broken record for the last 30, 15 months. I've been saying we pay everybody who is on the virtual session using contributions that you guys put into the virtual contribution box. Contribution link lives up here above yep. my head. Um, we'll be putting it into the chat as we go. It's in the description of the video. Yes. Um, yeah, so, so thanks in advance for your yeah, support. We appreciate it, especially on these last two. You can see from the description that um, there's a lot of people. How many people was it today? Uh, I like, don't know, like nine. Nine or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's a lot of people. So thank you in advance for helping us go strong into the end. Um, two more things before we play our set. Man, before we started, I was freezing, um, and now I'm like boiling hot. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. It's going to be okay. Um, the theme for tonight, um, speaking of good things, is silver linings. Um, I had this uh, very elaborate plan that I told Chris about to go to the dollar store and buy a pillow, take the stuffing out, put some tinsel on it, hang it from the ceiling so that we had some like beautiful clouds behind us and also some Christmas lights. And I was going to get us emergency blankets to wear. Yeah. So everything was silver. Well, as you can see, none of that happened because of my um, uh, fever inability to function today so the only silver thing we've got are my earrings and um, that's okay it's gonna be good so we have a bunch of pictures from you guys regarding silver linings for the for the pandemic which there have been tons of and i feel like this community is the big one for us for um, sure. the virtual session community um okay first set so i was thinking of tunes that have to do with silver linings and the final set we'll do at the very end has three tunes that all have silver in the name great i got that for the first one, I thought, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a set of tunes that has to do with being sick because that's the theme of my theme of the Perfect. day. So I was thinking, okay, well, could we do? Well, um, I slept most of today, so I was thinking, my darling yep. asleep would be good. Yep. Um, and then, when sick is it tea you want? That's a great one, right? You have some tea, right? And I have some tea actually. Yeah. I have to show this mug. I, oh, yes. I wasn't intending to, mug. but this is a mug that my sister got me. It's the coolest mug. I've ever seen somebody in Fairbanks made it. Somebody I went to school with actually, yeah. and it's an octopus tentacle that goes all the way around the cup. So cool. Anyways, um, and then I couldn't think of another one having to do with sickness, <laughs> and the, but a lyric popped into my head from Cockles and Muscles, or you might know it as Molly Malone. And um, so actually, uh, I put the lyrics up on the soundboard, which I'm going to put into the chat right now, in case you want to sing along if you don't know the know the tune. And Chris has it up on screen. Okay, and then I also had Chris pull out the line that I was thinking of here, and he's going to put it up here. She died of a fever, and no one can save her, and that was the end of Sweet Molly Malone. But her ghost wields her barrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh. And I'm sure you've heard this if you've been in any Irish pub ever. 
So we're going to start by playing this as a tune. You could sing along if you want. The lyrics are up on the soundboard. And then we will go into these, the, the other two sickness-related tunes after that, just to get started off on a, on a happy note here. Great. I want to note, I am happy about the, this whole sickness that I have because that means I got the vaccine. And that makes me... That it makes means it's super. working. It means it's working, okay. and I am being facetious about all this stuff. I'm, I'm very grateful. Okay, so we're going to play the first one in the key of A major, which is not what it's always played in, but it's easier on the violin in A than in G. So we're going to do that, and we'll launch into the jigs. All right. A couple times through, maybe three times through the first one. It's not very long.
first set. Um, excellent, excellent, good. We got the sickness set out of the way. Now we can proceed on to happier things. Um, Nora just said, this is a good ad for Pfizer. Yeah, well, right. great. If it can help with the effort, I'm happy to do it. Um, I, I'm guessing I, I'm guessing most people have their vaccines by now. I was Pfizer a can feel free to contact us for sponsorship <laughs> if they want. Hmm, somehow I doubt Pfizer yeah. doesn't... Uh, um, They're probably not advertising on YouTube. Probably not on Irish Sessions, yeah. I'd say. <laughs> um, okay, great. So uh, I mentioned that we have a ton, ton, ton of music tonight, so we're going to get started right away. Yeah. Um, this first set, who do we have? Oh, yes, we're gonna have two sets back to back here so I can catch my breath and turn on the air conditioner. Um, first one is from Andrew Finn McGill, who you know, um, hopefully from lots of different um, appearances on the sessions and concerts and all over the internet. He has his own uh, amazing website, recordings. He's very prolific, I have to say. Indeed. Um, and then we're gonna go into a set by uh, Linda Hickman and Iris Nevins. And um, they were on a few months ago, mm -hmm. um, and we're really excited to have them again. I think they recorded out in New Jersey on a porch. Is it outside? Uh, or no? I don't, is it I don't inside? Know. I thought it was inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, so they recorded together. Iris plays the harp, which we haven't had. Um, we actually have two harps tonight. I just realized. Well, Marta's playing piano. Oh, she's playing piano. Yeah. Okay, so well, harp. We One haven't harp. had harp in a long time, yeah. so this will be fun. So enjoy these two sets, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, enjoy. Hey everybody, my name's Finn, coming to you from Asheville, North Carolina, and thanks to Caitlin and Chris for inviting me to be a part of one of these very last Mary O's virtual sessions. As all of you know, Caitlin and Chris are the two hardest working people in showbiz, and so they deserve a summer vacation. But thank you to everything that you've done the past year and changed, Caitlin and Chris, for bringing together the traditional Irish music community and so many other musical communities. So with that said, I'm gonna play three jigs. The first is called the Eavesdropper. It's a two-part jig in G. I'll play it three times and then go into the Kinnegat Slashers, a three-part jig in D, and we'll finish with the Made at the Well, another two-part jig in G. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Chris. Thanks so much for having us on Tune Supply. Uh, we're going to play a couple sets of tunes, and uh, it's really fun. We're really appreciative of the fact that you've kept the session going, especially through the whole pandemic. So we all kind of got to play together, got to learn more tunes, social interaction. So we just yeah. wanted to tell you how appreciative yeah. we are. And your series is wonderful. Really yeah. great, great music. I've really enjoyed watching them. So, so. I'm, I'm Linda Hickman, and this is Iris Nevins. Nevins. So <laughs> I had a little issue with that before, so we've redone this a few times. Anyway, uh, we just want to thank you for having us, and... So here we are with a few tunes. Actually, we're going to try to do this before the thunder comes and there's a... Yes, the sky's about to let loose and I yeah. usually lose power here whenever there's a storm. <laughs> so, so um, wow, really anyway, cool. hope to see you all in person one yes. of these days. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Okay, we're going to play three jigs. Uh, the first one is the one that was lost. It was written by great accordion player Patty O'Brien and um, the second one's The Sheep in the Boat which I just played these two together I don't know that much about it uh, the last one I learned from Billy McComiskey I know it is Patty Fahey's which I could have the name wrong though so but here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
amazing, amazing start to the evening. Um, I was just thinking about um, when I met Linda. I've said this, I think, before. I've met Linda uh, when she was coming to Alaska for the Irish festivals that we had up there when I was in high school. And I was just thinking about this picture of her and I on the beach with uh, Eamon O'Leary holding a gigantic salmon. Hmm. That's what popped into my head. And I was thinking we should probably reprise that soon. That sounds excellent. Good times on Mark Ward's boat. Yeah. That's, what, that's yeah. what we were doing. Um, all right, so let's see. Oh, we, I just have one quick announcement before we go into the next set of um, tunes, and that is, um, most of you know this, but the Irish Arts Center is holding a summer semester, which is going to be online yet again. Um, this one is just six weeks long, and I want to mention it because the start is actually coming up fairly soon already. Um, there's our uh, our picture. I should really update this picture. I feel like we've used this since the beginning of Tune Supply. It's really good. It's very artistic, yeah. don't you think? Yeah. Um, anyways, so I'll put the link into the uh, chat here in just a second. But it's six week semesters. There's tons of different classes to take. Um, I teach fiddle classes, three levels of fiddle. James Cleveland teaches the other three levels of fiddle. Um, and there's I won't go into the list of other stuff. There's there's I don't even know probably 50 classes that they yeah. teach, um, including Irish language and everything. Irish right? language. Yeah. I think there's Story dance storytelling. Yeah. Um, uh, writing, poetry, I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff, so go check it out. Um, the classes start the last week of June, except for mine, and I, that's the main reason I wanted to mention this. Right. Mine are starting on July 6th, um, and they, they'll still go six weeks, it's just scooted forward a week. So just note, if you are going to take my classes, I would love to have you, and they're going to start one week later than the rest of them. Okay, so let's see. Um, I think we're going to go straight on to more tunes. So there's a number of sets this evening that are from a session that was supposed to happen but didn't because we were, what, what was the reason? We were overwhelmed. We were, well, we were traveling in it. We thought we were going to be able to do the session while traveling. Oh, yeah. And then we weren't able to. That's right. Okay, and it was a session that was organized by Marta Cook and, um, out in Chicago. And unfortunately, we didn't get to reschedule it before our pause that's happening um, after next week. So we're going to put three of the sets from that session on tonight and possibly one next week. And then maybe uh, in the future, if and when we restart, we'll, we'll have them back for some more. But to get that going, we're going to start off with the Gavins, um, Sean, Michael and Mick, intergenerational musical family. And um, I think they're going to introduce what they're playing. So right. enjoy. How's it going, everybody? I'm Sean Gavin here, joined by my father, Mick Gavin, my brother, Michael Gavin. Hi. We're going to play two reels for you, Down the Broom and The Gate Housemaid. Hope you're all doing well. And thanks to Tune Supply for having us <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks a lot. Woo! Woo! That was awesome. Um, and we're, we hope to have more from these guys soon, as I mentioned. Um, they, uh, we, we missed out on their session, and uh, they're incredible musicians. Um, okay, so I am wearing a um, tank top. It, this is not how you're supposed to wear this, tank top on tank top. But I just want to model this because this came in the mail from um, Rick and Melinda Halford yesterday. Yes. Um, it's an excellent print dinosaur tank top to go with um, dinosaur masks that they sent us a while mm -hmm. back. And I have a dress in the same print. All the same beautiful dinosaur print. Yes, and it's perfect. I, I love it very much. So thank you for sending it. Um, we always show when people send us things on this session, but I always feel a little funny doing it because I, we don't need anybody to send us anything. Um, but I do, I, I, I do like to show when yeah. people send things. And I, I love sending people things in the mail, too, as some of you might have noticed. So um, it, it works both ways. OK, we also received Texas Miss. Mesquite, is it mesquite? Mesquite, I think. Mesquite? I don't know. Like mosquito. Yeah. Barbecue pecans. Um, and these are quite good. Actually, I don't know if I've had one. You said they were really good, yeah, right? Yeah, I like them a lot, yeah. Okay. Let me try. Oh, really good. That's excellent. Um, we're big fans of nuts. Um, oh, those are good. They're really good. They're not sweet at all, which I no. like. I don't like when nuts are super sugary. Yeah. Um, okay, and we have one other thing that we actually received quite a long time ago, um, but have not tried on the session. And we're going to try it right now because it's pretty great. There was mention of limoncello already in the comments. And as you all know, Peter Rayhill out in California has been making limoncello and also Bob Beamers here in New York. Well, Peter sent us the 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 rind is it the rind of the lemon that's yeah, the used zest. the zest yeah. that's that's used to make the limoncello and um, it's very alcoholic and it's so good so we're just gonna have a little bit on the on the session oh I'm gonna have to keep that over here <laughs> wow that's really good one more for me mm -hmm. okay excellent okay. Those are our packages that arrived today. I mean, this week. Amazing. Uh, it's like uh, I it's really an good. incredible amount of alcohol that is infused into the yeah. rind. I think Amazing. Peter said that's good on like ice cream. Yeah, we should, yeah. we should definitely try that. Um, okay, so one strange thing that I have, I have lemon rind on my lips now, um, that I have to tell you guys about. Um, you may recall last summer when we were doing the sea tars sessions up in Alaska, Chris and I made a video, a, a video and a visit out to the uh, Seward Sea Life Center. Um, you, should we show the video or should, should we show the screenshot right now? So this is a screenshot from the session where we played in the corner. Well, the, um, what is that thing, sea lion? Yeah. Uh, danced about in the middle of the pond. <laughs> and uh, you, could, you might also remember there was a big octopus playing on the screen while we were playing some um, oh, while well, we were playing some tunes. Um, if you missed this session, I'm going to put the link to it in the uh, chat right now. The reason I mention this is because the Seward Sea Life Center was having trouble in the last year um, with their funding, with staying open, um, because they didn't have any tourists coming to visit them, because last year almost no tourists came to Alaska. So they held a big fundraiser online, and they auctioned off all sorts of cool stuff. One of the things that they auctioned off was uh, a visit, two visits actually. One, a uh, virtual visit to the Seward Sea Life Center's rehabilitation facility where they have animals that are being rehabilitated. And the other was to the Alaska Raptor Center where, again, they have birds that are being re rehabilitated. Well, I won these virtual visits. And so after I won them, this was like months ago, after I won them, I said, well, how many people can I bring to the virtual visits? And they said, well, you can bring as many people as you want. We just we just send you the link in and you can have as many people as you want come. So we're going to do these virtual visits um, a little bit later in the summer, probably not until maybe August or something. It's going to be a while. But I created a uh, Google Doc. So if anybody would like to be included in the uh, list that the link goes out to, um, it's, it's going to be on Zoom. It's virtual. So you can just come in and you get to meet the sea mammals and the birds that are being rehabilitated at these places. 
that was a big explanation. Did that make sense? I think so. Okay, so let me get you the link here. Okay, here it is. That's my favorite type of story when it has multiple layers, but I realize it's not other people's favorite types of story. Okay, so here's the link. You can just click on that, put your name and your email and which of the which of the centers you want to visit virtually, and um, I will hook you up later in the summer. It should be pretty cool. Um, okay, we should probably have some more tunes. Oh, the exciting thing of the night. Oh, yeah. Do you want to introduce these guys? Um, or I'd have to read I? their names. Do you want to say how this all came about? Well, did, I think we got an email, right? Yes. So um, our new friend Oscar uh, from Cuba wrote us an email um, about a month ago and said he was interested in, in participating in Tooth Supply stuff. So we chatted a little bit, and he sent us some great videos. Um, and we're finally getting the chance to show them tonight. Yes, so Oscar is in Cuba, and he is an Irish musician and, I think, classical musician as well. I believe he plays oboe, oboe and, yeah. and other things. And um, so Oscar's full name is Oscar Leonardo uh, Cruz Rodriguez, and he's playing with his, his friend Gustavo Miguel Fabrega Mesa. I hope I've said these names right. Fabrega, Fabrega, Fabrega. I don't know. You'll have to tell us how to pronounce it correctly, Oscar. He's in the chat, yeah. and um, I just uh, we've had a lot of people on the se on the session from different countries in the world, right? Mm. Um, I'm thinking of Santiago from mm. from Argentina, um, but this is particularly cool to have Cuban musicians on the session. Um, mm -hmm. It just makes me think about how this music goes everywhere yeah. in the world. Really. People love it any anywhere that that there's musicians. So. Whew, okay, so they're going to play two different sets of tunes here, and then they'll have another set later. All right, enjoy. <laughs> some more tunes later um, uh, in the session so so yes. don't go away we don't know what those tunes were so um, oh yeah Oscar if you're in the comments let us if you're in the chat let us know the names of those did you write those I, I was know. wondering if they yeah. wrote them yeah maybe they they sound great um, okay so let's see um, oh we forgot to say who the amazing uh, mesquite nuts are from, and oh, yes. they're from Cheryl Patterson. Yes. How did we forget to, we got yes. too excited about the taste of the nuts and yeah. forgot to say, say thank you to Cheryl. Um, okay, we have some community pictures on the theme of um, silver linings. I'm feeling a little like delirious from the, from the fever right now. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, yeah. So I'm probably rambling more than normal here. Okay, All right. here we go. Oh, um, that looks familiar. Yeah. That looks like a really soft sweatshirt. Yeah, that's from um, Angela Botzer. She's always first in the community pictures, and she said that Tune Supply was her silver lining, and that's very kind, and we feel exactly the same way about everybody out there. So thank you. 
This is from last week, right? Yes. There, okay. The there's dessert a theme. there's a couple dessert ones interspersed that didn't make it on last time. So who is this from? Arthur Gibbonino. Oh, that looks good. That looks Delicious. really good. Yeah. I bet my mom would like that dessert. Yeah. A lot. Okay. Clara oh. Newforth. Okay, so this is not on either theme, but it's just cute and it's animal related, which always can go on to the session. And Clara said that she put out four nuts for the squirrel in the um, in the driveway, and the squirrel found all of them. He looks a little fat, so that's yeah, good. Yeah. I like seeing fat mm -hmm. wild animals. Okay. Okay, Gordon Nash sent in. Yes, so Gordon sent a whole bunch of beautiful pictures of clouds in. He said that he loves taking pictures of clouds, and they are his silver lining um, submission. And I picked this one because. That is Lower Manhattan, right? It does appear to be, yeah. I think it is. You'll have to that tell would be, us. That would be Lower Manhattan from the Manhattan Bridge, I think. Right. I think so. I think yeah. I recognize that bridge um, structure as well. Yeah. So that's gorgeous. Okay. And this was Gordon Nash from oh. last week's yes. theme dessert. Delicious. Okay. My mom would like that one as well. Mm -hmm. Anything chocolate? Okay. Oh. Costume sent this in. This is incredible. Apparently, this happened the, uh, this morning, right? This morning, he so he said he took this at five thirty a.m. Um, and it's the eclipse that happened this morning, and he took it in the Hudson Valley. So cool! Amazing picture. That's yeah, beautiful shot. It looks like it's from a sci-fi movie or yeah, something. Yeah, right, right. Um, okay, TJ sent in two submissions. <laughs> yeah, I actually wrote down the notes for these. So okay, TJ great. says, um, "Oh, I didn't write down this one." Shoot. Okay, uh, well, we all, you guys know that uh, TJ flies planes, and he says uh, one of the silver linings is the chance to pursue hobbies even through a pandemic. And then he said, by hobbies, I mean obsessions. Right. So that's his flying. Okay. Okay, and this is one of our moos that we did. We haven't done a moo in a long time, and I don't think we're, gonna, unfortunately, going to have another one before we stop for the summer. But um, this uh, was, was this the first one? I can't uh, remember. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and check. Anyways, T TJ says uh, this um, silver lining is amer amazing friends that I love to play with on the internet and in person. Aww. And that's John Redmond in the middle, of course. Okay, and then th we didn't put up this other picture of TJ's, but it was him wearing um, his business clothes oh, yeah. on a Zoom meeting. And he said the other silver lining was Zoom business clothing mullets, mm. a full year of never wearing a suit. I love it. Okay, and then uh, this is my submission. My silver linings are Chris and Toast. Aww. And um, this is uh, what Chris has been trying to t uh, train Toast to do is ride around on his shoulders. Yeah, it's not going um, super well. That was the best day that, was the best that it was been. working, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's see. Uh, I think we're going to have another set of tunes. Oh, from... we have a video submission oh, yeah, from Dan right. Snyder. And I don't know the details on this, so maybe you should explain. I think it's just a beautiful walk that he was taking. Great. So I was just checking. It's in um, New Brunswick, Canada. Oh. I walk uh, in silver. A walk silver lined by birch trees. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Awesome. Now, um, I think we're ready for some more tunes. Yes. Is it um, Andrew Finn McGill? It is Andrew Finn McGill, and I think he's got, I don't know, some reels <laughs> and jigs. I'm not sure. <laughs> some tunes of some he's sort. some tunes, so enjoy. Okay, here we go. Hey, everyone. I'd like to play three reels. The first is called Dash to Portobello. It's a two-part tune in E minor. And then the second tune is called Chicago. It's another two-part tune. It's in C. And it goes to maybe an A minor in both parts and a D in the second part. I'll leave that up to the accompanists. And then the very last tune is called Crowley's Number no. One, another two part reel in D major. And we'll play each of these three times. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, anonymous, yeah. anonymous. Oh, very good. Um, we were wondering what Finn's shirt uh, is for. Does anybody know? It's hashtag now, now you, see, you us. see us. I'm curious to know. Um, Finn is going to be teaching at the Swananoa gathering this summer. I suspect in a couple of the different weeks, but I know that he's at the Irish Week, as am I. And Swananoa is online this year. So check that out if you want to be a part of it. It's five different weeks. Each one is a different genre of music. And the Irish week is the second week of July. So coming up shortly. Yeah. And then hopefully back in real life next summer. Yeah. Can't believe it. You really go oh, let's horribly not, wrong let's to, not, think about <laughs> not that. to be in person. That would be very bad. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're at the half time. Okay. We're not doing as bad on time as I was thinking. Okay. We're, we're doing okay. We're a little over half time, actually. Um, and that means it is time for... Our second to last poem of the virtual wow. sessions for now from Mimi. By the way, I just want to say when the session restarts in real life, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, um, Mimi does write these poems and recite them at the halftime in real life as well. Yes. This is actually where we the whole thing just came do from. This just for the heck of it. It's actually a thing. <laughs> so it does, it's not actually ending. Um, yeah. uh, so if you ever come to the real session, you'll get to see this also. But okay, so let's see what she's got for us today. Hi, Mario's friends. A very bad poem this week about the tardigrades, whom you will remember are out in space, uh, who are out in space, uh, and it makes me wonder about them. With apologies to Lewis Carroll, how doth the little tardigrade, when he is in space, get cloth inside his helmet to wash his smushed up face? There's more. 
And did he, in pandemic times, like bro bros and dudes we know, a fuzzy beard of wiry hair on wrinkly water bear face grow? I learned from Toon Supply, you see, about we water bears. I learned to find communion, to lay down stress and cares. I learned what the big bears in backyards do, and so much else this year, how witty Harris Rothman is, how music pleases reindeer. Bear with me, there's more. I learned so much about so much this year, from micro bears to stars. It fits that tardigrades mark somehow like friends from near and far. A little cerebral and weird, but you get the point. What an amazing journey this has been. We're not alone. We are together somehow, like the tardigrades who are tiny and yet are out in the universe. Um, please chip into the box if you can. Thanks to all the special guests tonight. Thank you most of all to Caitlin and Chris for taking us all on this journey with you. And please stay safe. Eat your kibble. Bye. Wow. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I might need, I might need that one written it's out, one actually. Best, yeah. I need to study that. There was, it was full, there was, it was full of material. So much. Oh, and tardigrades, man. As Mimi was talking about all the stuff that has happened on Toon Supply, I was thinking that... <laughs> you might be wondering what's happening. That... <laughs> our, our cat, Toast, is standing on my keyboard, which is wireless, of course, and um, <laughs> that's why all those sounds are just happening. So I'm going to go turn that off. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> that's amazing. Maybe Toast wants to say something to the audience. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll bring him over for an appearance. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was just going to say that um, I feel like in the... Oh, here's Toast. There he is. Hard to toast, see. Hard to see. Yeah. Toast, you got to put your eyes over yeah, here yeah. so they can... <laughs> He's had a great day today because I slept all today and that meant that Toast could sleep in the bed with me all day today mm. and so he's quite happy, I think. Um, I was just thinking that we used to do lots, lots of uh, extra content like the tardigrade feature and um, uh, the the science night and all sorts of different stuff. And we, uh, I, I have, feel like in the last couple of weeks, we haven't done so much of that exciting stuff. We've just kind of run out of energy here at the, at the very end. Um, but we are going to take a nice break and get re-energized and have more Toon Supply stuff out later this summer. And actually on that subject, um, you know what, let me... Hold, I hold hold that. I'll tell you about what we're going to do later this summer in a little bit. But um, I just want to say it's been a great last year. I mean, the last year has not been great, but the Tune Supply um, journey has been really great. And thank you to Mimi for doing poems for us every single week. Um, next week will be number 75. Did she do one the first week? I think so. Amazing. Okay. Um, so uh, the traditional thing that happens at the halftime is we ask you for money. Um, and uh, if we were in real life, Mimi would ask for money. Uh, but here we are. I will uh, ask for money into the contribution box um, to help us get through these last two weeks where we have tons and tons of guest artists. And soon we will have the real box back so you can put real money in the real box. Mm. That will be great. And I'll put the link into the, into the comments in just a second. Um, on the subject of recurring contributions, some of you have a weekly or a monthly um, contribution set up to Tune Supply. We will go ahead and cancel those after the uh, last session because we don't want you to have to keep paying for nothing. content when nothing is happening. <laughs> yes. um, if you were to want to continue um, contributing to Tune Supply as we go into the summer, um, you can certainly do that, but we're going to stop all the um, virtual session ones for now just because because we're yeah. stopping the virtual sessions so or you can do it yourself if you go to donorbox.org um, that will that will allow you to stop it as well or let us know if you have questions okay next uh, set of tunes um, is from Adrian O'Shea who is um, a young musician who was recommended to us by Marta Cook and was supposed to be part of that session that I mentioned unfortunately didn't happen um, but we're really uh, glad and honored to have her um, do a set of tunes tonight mm -hmm. so here we go and we'll follow oh. that um, with a set from Marta and Devin oh. themselves 
I forgot. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't have it written down. Yes, after that, Marta and Devin are going to play a set of tunes. Um, uh, so, two sets and then we'll see you. All right, enjoy. Hi, everybody. My name is Adrienne O'Shea, and I'm here in the Twin Cities in Minnesota. And I'm going to play a couple of jigs for you. They are A Night at the Fair, The Humors of Drina, and Will You Come Home With Me? And I got these off of the Common Repertoire from the Center for Irish Music, where I'm a teacher. So these tunes are ones that I would teach to my students, and I'm really happy to be playing them with you all. Here we go. Thank you. 
We're going to try three classic hornpipes for you now. The first one is Off to California, and this one was published in Chicago by Chief O'Neill, and he got it in California. Surprise, surprise. So before he moved to Chicago, he herded sheep in California, and he picked this tune up there. And then the second tune is called The Humors of Tully Crin. And the third one is a great old classic as well, sometimes called Cronin's Hornpipe or often also called Dennis Murphy's Hornpipe. That's what I learned it as. So we'll try these three for you. The first one is in G, then the second one is A minor, third one is G again.
amazing. Two more amazing fits. Um, okay, let's see here. It's time for words. Great. Um, are you? Are, do you really feel like it's great? Yeah, love the word game. <laughs> the word game is definitely my favorite thing that happens. I don't know about Chris. Maybe, mm. maybe not. Yeah, um, well, we have two more word games uh, tonight and next week, and um, I know that some people out there like to do it. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Um, Okay, the first one tonight is exceptionally great. I really don't know how to pronounce it because it doesn't have enough vowels in it. Yep. Um, I'm going to say Merknau. Okay. Okay. And then the second one is Siderodromophobia. So, yeah, Merk. Mer how yeah, do you say There's not enough vowels in that first one. How would you say that first one? I don't know. Maybe. Mergnano? Mergnano. Well, that's nice. <laughs> oh, no, this. No. There's, there's no. not another N. I don't know. Maybe Mr. Canago? Oh, maybe that's it. Mr. Canago? Yeah. Canago? yeah. Okay, so um, you're familiar with the word game by now. Um, you can put into the chat your uh, definitions of these words. Um, you could put the real definitions if you want, or you can put made-up definitions, and we select our favorite one or two. We'll see what we want to do tonight um, during the next set. And the winners, of course, get to pick either a tune written on a label. Do I have one? Uh, here's one. They just lay them in the house. We have so many. These are ones that are getting ready to be sent out to last week's winners. Um, clips of more, that's going out to um, Lynn Goldfarb. Uh, so you can select the tune and Chris custom sets it, type sets it or whatever it's called onto a, onto a mailing label, or you can choose a tune supply shirt, anything that is on in stock on the website. Um, so good luck and you can go ahead and uh, put put your guesses or your um, creative responses into the chat. While you're doing that, I'm just going to tell you a bit about the plans. So we still don't have all the details worked out, but the tentative plan for right now is to do a session in person at Mario's on Thursday, July 8th. And I kind of I hesitate to mention it on the internet because um, please don't buy tickets to come to the session um, from far away just yet. We're planning to do... Um, perhaps a bigger event, a bigger session in September once we're very certain that everything is okay health-wise. But I know a bunch of folks do want to get started with playing in person, as, as do I, so we are tentatively going for a July 8th start date. Um, and I'm not sure if it's going to be just a one-off to, to see how it goes or if we're going to keep going throughout the summer. This is all very TBA, and we're going to make sure that everybody's safe and all of that sort of stuff, masks and all that. Um, but I will let you guys know on the mailing list, the Mario's mailing list. So I think you're all on it, but if you aren't, just um, go down in the description of the video, uh, click show more. Yep. And then way down at the bottom uh, is the mailing list that you can sign up for. So that's kind of the tentative plan for now. And then for the virtual session, we're probably going to come back in, the, in, in S September, maybe. We'll see. And, if um, there's demand for it. If yes. There's a need. If folks want it, we will yep. come back and do especially event sessions maybe once a month. That's everything is so up in the air with everything right now. Yeah. But that's the, that's our our plans for right now. We are going to do um, various little things over the summer, releasing little bits of of content and tunes and yeah, things like that. Yeah, we have a couple of projects in the works, but nothing major. Yeah. So um, just keep an eye on our Facebook page. Make sure you've liked the Facebook page and what it, what is it called on on YouTube? YouTube Friended channel. us. Subscribe. Sub subscribe. Yeah. I, there's a verb for everything. Yeah. Like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. What's Instagram? Mm, Friend. Follow. Follow. No, no. <laughs> Anyways, we're all in all the social media besides TikTok. We're not cool enough for TikTok. No, but we, we should probably explore that. Yeah. That might be good. And the mailing list, of course. There's a regular Tune Supply mailing list as well, which I'll put into the chat. Okay. Um, we have one more set of tunes from Linda and Iris, and then uh, another one from the Cuban guys after that. So right. let's go uh, see Linda and Iris first. Okay, now we're going to play an old air ballad called Net of the Hill. And I'm sure many of you know it and have heard it. It also has words. I think some of you sing it. So here we go.
Gorgeous. Lovely. Love that. Um, Lynn just made a great comment right at the end there. Do you see? Oh, yes. The juxtaposition of these definitions with this gorgeous tune is hilarious. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I agree. We did not plan it like that. No. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, okay. Thank you for that lovely air. We, um, there was actually another set of tunes from um, Iris and Linda. We, because we have so much stuff tonight, we didn't get a chance to put it on. But I, when we were choosing the two of the three, I thought we have to have an air. We haven't had a nice air and. Yes. such a, a long time and net of the hill is a classic so Beautiful. thank you for um again joining us um iris and linda okay so we have selected two winners for the board game tonight you guys are so good at this so good i want to just make everybody winners every That's night really good. um who is the first one the here? first winner is terry motter Merk now what a cat says with a mouth full of peanut butter. Okay, good. And we're going to tell you the real definitions in yep. just a second. Excellent. Okay. Excellent, Terry. Okay. <laughs> and um, our second winner is Doug Wagner for a fear of long stories that go sideways. A blue car was speeding down the road nearby, and then I bought a new shirt with tunes on it, but can't read them while playing. <laughs> that one is very um, meta. That's a meta yes. definition. Yes, and I'm wondering, Doug, if you, uh, if you were inspired it's okay if you weren't, but I'm wondering if you're inspired because I said last week that I loved the definitions that were a big story yeah. to them. And if you were inspired, then your tactic has worked. You have indeed won the word game. Um, okay, so the two uh, real definitions. Actually, you guys mostly got, a bunch of people nearly got the merk now. It means the meow of a cat. That's amazing. Everybody kind of That's, figured um, that out. That's poetic. Yes, and it's um, it's from a James Joyce novel from Ulysses. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. And the other one is siderodromophobia, the fear of rail travel. So I don't I was, understand that one. I don't either. I was trying to figure out the parts of the word. Um, I well, don't phobia, speak. certainly. I well, yeah. That, yeah. But siderodromophobia, I don't. No idea. Oh, it says here. Okay, iron. Oh, wow, this is way complicated. You have to know Greek to do this. So the, the Greek oh. word for iron is sideros. The, road, the word for road is dromos. Hmm. So it's iron road fear. Wow. Greek roots You really there. have to know your Greek. I probably only know my Latin roots. I, yes, I know a tiny bit of Latin. My mom always wanted me to take Latin in high school, and it wasn't offered at my high school. Hmm. Was it offered no. at yours? I think no, my high school was not very strong in foreign languages. I feel like Latin is quite useful. Yeah. Um, what did you take instead? Spanish. Spanish? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Terry and who was the second one? Doug. Doug. Uh, send us an email and tell us if you want a tune on a label, and if so, which tune, or a shirt. It has to be something that's in stock on the website, and of course, we need your mailing address to send either one of those yeah. objects to you. Congratulations. So you can write us a note at tunes at tune.supply. Yes. Tugs, I think our email is in the, uh, comment, uh, the description of the video as well. Yeah. Um, okay, we have one more set from our new Cuban friends, and then Chris and I will play one more set, and then I will end the feverish ranting after that. It's Great. pretty. It's pretty good, really bad tonight, I think. So here's um, um, some jigs from yes. uh, the Cubans. <laughs>
Amazing. Um, <clears throat> I, I usually say when we have new folks on the session, I hope we get to play together someday. And I feel like with, we, I've been reading, I've, I spent like half the day reading about the history of Cuba today, actually, because yeah. I felt like I didn't know that much about it, or I didn't know as much as I should. And um, I hope that we can perhaps go to Cuba yes. someday, but it's, a, um, difficult, it's but a difficult perhaps place. Perhaps possible. Yes, it's a difficult place for Americans to get to, but um, I learned a lot about it today. It just yeah. seems like a fascinating place. And lots of other great music, of course, yeah. in Cuba. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me get this list of folks that we have next week because it's also very long before we play our last set here. Um, so the theme for next week is summertime because we're going into the summer and I thought that would be a good, uh, hopeful and um, uh, exciting topic to yeah. end on. Yeah. And uh, here is our current list of musicians probably going to grow by one or two, I would guess. John Redmond. Uh, Jerry O'Connor, uh, Martin de Kogan, I believe is going to do a song with Jerry, I think. Um, David Munley will be back. Isaac Alderson, um, Alan Murray, Nathan Gorley are going to do a trio set from uh, the Boston House of Music. Yes. Um, uh, Santiago Molina, who hasn't been on in a while, uh, and Nicholas Sokolak from Argentina will join us. Um, I'm hoping that Angela Botzer is going to send us a set of tunes. Mm. She, I think she is. Angela, if you're watching. We're she, expecting we've it. been talking about it for a few weeks yeah. and it's okay if it doesn't happen but i'm hoping that she sends one and that would be really great for the end and then we are also going to play one more round of bingo of course we'll i'll try mm. to f find some big prize for next next week two t-shirts no something bigger than oh, a t-shirt okay. like a sweatshirt no oh, something bigger yeah. than that um and i promised uh some yeah. folks that I, we were going to play the star wars jig um, oh, fun. So we'll do the Star Wars jig. Those Great. are all the things that will happen next week. I was thinking about when we when we stopped the session last summer, and it, I got all like dramatic and verklempt on the ending one, and I read the Desiderata poetry. I mean, it was not going to be like that. It's not going to be like that. <laughs> We're not going to get super dramatic, but there was going to be a ton of music and a ton of fun to be had for the last session. Um, okay, let's see. We are going to play a set of tunes. I mentioned that the first set of tunes was the sickness set, and this is the silver set um, because our theme has been silver linings. So first tune is the hare's paw, which I learned from uh, the session.org today, um, is also called the silver mines or the silver mine. So we're going to play that one first. That's you a big... didn't learn the tune from the session.org. No, you I learned that it was called the silver mines. That's, that's correct. But... I think that I, I knew the tune, but the place that I learned the name of the tune from was Felicia. She, uh, this is one of Felicia's favorite tunes. So we'll start with that one. Shout out to Felicia. And then we'll go into, of course, you know what I'm going to say next, the Silver Spear and the Silver Spire, back to back. Um, so first one's in the key of G and the others are in the key of D. We'll probably just do two times each. Wow, we're not actually going over time that much. Not too it's much. Perfect. Yeah. Um, okay, and let's see. How does this one go? All right. <laughs> And we might play, the first one's a single reel, so we'll probably play that three or four times, and then we'll do two on the other ones. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, medium speed. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Octaves going on. Big octaves. That was great. Um, bigger than octaves. I guess octave has a set <laughs> width. I shouldn't say big octaves. There's just one one size. You can say loud octaves. They were loud octaves. Well, they were bouncy octaves. Ah, that's bouncy, what I saw yeah, with, the, right. with the hands. Um, there's a good conversation going in in the chat there about unusual instruments in Irish sessions. Oh, it started like Isaac with, with the saxophone. Well, Ruby just mentioned that um, Isaac plays saxophone, which I, I think everybody knows, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Somebody was saying, or a couple of people were discussing whether oboe would be a good Irish session instrument. Maybe. I don't know the answer to that, but I do know that um, Matt Mancuso plays trumpet. Yes, and, and he's been known to bring it out in a session, right? Yep, a couple times. And also, um, Andy, I can't remember his last name now, in New Jersey plays clarinet. Oh, cool. And tunes on the clarinet. He's yeah. got recordings. Doesn't out. Dennis play Irish tunes Dennis, on the clarinet? Dennis too? plays clarinet, yep. yeah. Um, uh, and we had a trombone at Mario's yes, we did. once, and that it sounded that great. Yeah. I love weird instrument, not weird, but unusual yeah. instruments in the session. Um, okay, so that's the end. Wow, we got done much faster than I thought. Mm -hmm. And if I hadn't had my fe feverish ramblings, we would have been done 15 minutes ago. Um, okay, so uh, one more session next week um, before we go off into the summertime, hopefully the post-COVID summertime. Yep. We'll see how it goes. And uh, we are really looking forward to seeing you for that. It will be bingo session, and I will send you the information um, via email about that. Just some other reminders. If you have a recurring contribution, you can stop that yourself, or we will stop them after the final session um, if you haven't stopped it yourself. Any other important things from today regarding plans? Um. Make sure to sign up if you want to attend oh. the Wildlife Showcase. Yes. The, what is it? The Raptors and the Sea Life Center. Yes. That link, if you're watching from the future, that link is in the description, but I will also post it into the chat right now. Um, and I know that uh, th th it's short on details right now, but basically they're going to tell us a time that works in a month or two, and then whoever can come, is, uh, that you, they're going to come. So that's, that's uh, the way it will work. Here is the link for signing up for that. What else? Doug and um, the other winner, who is Terry. Doug Ter and Terry, make yes. sure you send us an email if you want to claim your prizes for the word game. Yeah. And what else? Thanks to all our special guests tonight. Um, Andrew Finn McGill, Marta and Devin, Adrian, Michael, Sean and Mick Gavin, uh, Oscar and Gustavo, and Linda and Iris. Wow, that she, was impressive. I cheated. <laughs> that was impressive. Um, great. So we will see you guys next week. I have to apologize one more time for being feverish this evening. Uh, more crazy than normal, I would mm -hmm. say. A little bit. Chris is like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I'm going to get some, some rest, and I um, yes. hope everybody has a good week. We will see mm -hmm. you back uh, for one more session. Don't forget to chip into the box if oh, you can. Yes, chip into the box. It's up here and I'll, in the chat. I'll put that one more time. Here. Contributions. And in the description. So thanks in advance for all your support. Helps us to pay all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, wow. Yes. That's more than I thought. Yeah. And uh, I will try also next week to get a count on the total amount of money that the session has brought in, because that might be nice to That'll mention. That'll be fun to mention, yeah. I, I haven't done that in a few months, and we should mm -hmm. get that number out, because it's it's already impressive, and I'm sure it's yeah. even more so now. Okay, Oof. I think that's it. Okay. Toast and I are off to bed. <laughs> okay, good, good night, night everyone. <laughs>